Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will try to be as brief as possible. Um, I know it's been a long afternoon for the members of the committee as well as the members of the public. Uh, I will just state for the record, um, I'm here as the New Hampshire representative of Gun Owners of America, and I am a New Hampshire resident. Um, I just want to hit two points, and then I will submit my written testimony. Um, it is a myth that private parties could order firearms over the Internet and have them shipped to their home. Uh, only licensed dealers can have firearms shipped to them. Everyone else must have any firearms that are purchased online shipped to a licensed dealer and then appear in person to pick up their purchase. What House Bill 109 will do is prohibit the face-to-face -face sale or transfer, transfer, even temporary transfer, of firearms between friends, family members, and neighbors, and it will surely prevent and prohibit firearms training and prohibit instructors from loaning guns to students in a training environment. The bill would have failed to prevent Newtown, it was a stolen gun, the movie theater in Colorado passed a background check, Tucson passed a background check, and the murders at the church in South Carolina, the FBI didn't do their job. So we have instances where the laws are there and they're not being followed. House Bill 109 will not make anyone safer. It is just another cynical attempt by what we believe are out-of-state interests to marginalize gun owners, stigmatize gun ownership, and pave the way for the elimination of the Second Amendment rights of New Hampshire residents by bringing New York-style gun control to New Hampshire. Accordingly, we would urge this committee to vote House Bill 109 inexpedient to legislate, and I will be happy to take questions, and I will submit my written testimony. Thank you for your testimony. Crook TV.